Today, I'm going to show you how to restore your Facebook account if it ever gets hacked. Usually, whenever it gets hacked, you'll get something like this in your email immediately. The topic will be, did you just add an email address? Adding another email address is very important. It allows the hacker to reset the password by setting it to this email address. Next up, there's a recovery code. This recovery code will be emailed to your old email address as well as the new hacker's email address. Once they get in, they just reset the password. Once they reset the password, they just remove the old email address, which is the legit email address that you were using. So that's basically it. If you want to try to get your account back, you go into Facebook and then report as hacked, but don't expect to get instant results. If you want result now, you just play the hacker's game back. So go ahead and find the first email that you ignore or probably accidentally delete it or the hacker deleted your email. Try to find it in the trash bin and click on this wasn't me. When you click on a link, you'll be launched temporarily into your account. Of course, the first thing you might want to do is change your password immediately. However, when you click on change password, it will ask you for your current password, which the hackers know. Obviously, you can't do that. The next best thing to do is click on Personal Details, and then click on Contact Info. Remember how the hacker added his email? Well, now's your chance to add a different email to your account. Add a mobile number or an add email. Once you're able to add your own email address or another email address that you own, Go ahead and try to log in. Go to facebook.com, enter your email address, and click on Forgot Password. See how it's all beginning to make sense now? Once you forgot the password, it will send you a code to reset the password, and that's how you get the second email. Now that you're able to get a new password, go ahead and create another password, a new password. And that's why I received this from the hacker. Once you're able to get back into your account with your own password, Go ahead and go into your settings, settings and privacy, settings, password and security, password and security again. I highly recommend changing the two-factor authentication. Click on your account. Authentication app is not that great. It's better than nothing, of course. If you have a chance, if you have the opportunity, go ahead and use security keys. These are physical keys that's impossible to hack impossible for the hackers to get their hands on and register a security key. Basically, every time you log on, it will ask for this key. And of course, who has it? Only you. Check out my other video on how to get your own security keys and how to make it work. So right now, I already have a security key sitting with me. I'm going to click on Register Security Key. Click OK. Type in my key pin. And now I'm going to touch my key. Done. All right, hopefully you found this video helpful on how to get your hacked account back. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel. And thanks for watching.